idle mind. Lots of people are not engaged physically with something doing. And this has created an idle mind for so many people. Idle mind, we know, is said to be the devil's workplace. What are you doing lately? Are you just sitting down or lying down waiting for work to come to you? Are you feeling you have fulfilled all righteousness of going to school and then you are just seated there waiting for job or employment to come? Either a kind of white collar job thereby creating an idle mind for yourself. This is Social Peace Channel, the right place to get just the right dose for your social challenges. And here on Social Peace Channel, I remain your chief host, Gretchen Wonder. The topic at the moment is idle mind. When somebody is not engaged physically or mentally in activities that will lead to earning a living or getting income, that person eventually becomes idle. He is not in any physical activity that will bring financial gain to him or her. Then, such a person could be said to be an idle mind. Sitting down under trees or meeting in joints and discussing issues of the society does not connote employment at all. When there is no financial gain to that activity that one does, let's say for the week or for the month or daily, there is no payment or any consideration, financial consideration for such a person either for a month or weekly or daily then that person is idle that you are just sitting down under the mango tree discussing with friends or you always stroll on the streets does not mean that you are employed Visiting friends from one environment to the other, moving on the bike or boarding vehicle to different locations every day does not entail employment. You like it or not, when you are not paid for that activity that you are involved in, then you are idle. Your mind can be described as an idle mind. Now, having discussed or defined an idle mind, we need to understand that the idle mind is the place where all evil starts from. You may think you are the right thinking person, you have moral values, but once you are not involved in activities that will bring financial gain, it 
down a daily, weekly, or monthly basis, then you are an idle mind. And evil is just within that mind. But those people who eventually end up stealing or who end up becoming involved in one social vices or the other, if you look at it very well, you discover that idleness is one of the major reasons. So, the call is get yourself involved in one thing or the other doing to kill idleness because idleness is not a place to be at all. It's not a place to find yourself. Get something doing. Join a friend. Agree on something that he should be giving you. It may be that he will decide to be footing your meals. It is a place to start from. What is that thing that you feel you can flow with? Get yourself involved in it. Don't just sit down there with your certificate as a BSc holder or a master degree holder and then saying that there's no job. Understand the society we are living in today. You need to find something for yourself. And it must not be something you studied in school. It must not be that big position that you have aspired in life. Get yourself involved with something little and then see how you can quell or kill this idle mind that we are talking about. So that you don't be the next person that will hear news of something bad coming from you. This is Social Peace Channel, the right place to get just the right tools for your social challenges. If this is the first video you're watching on my channel, I'm encouraging you to subscribe, like my videos, and also share them so that we can bring this information to people who might be needing them. Here on Social Peace Channel, I remain your chief host, Gretchen Wonder. Thanks for coming. Bye.